Hi guys, so today I want to talk to you guys about the Shea Moisture body, um, pretty much the body and skin line or whatever. Um, I bought some from Walgreens probably about at the beginning of this year and I've been using them ever since and I really love them and I want to share them with you guys. Um, pretty much you can get the products at Walgreens, Target, I've seen them everywhere. Um, when I got mine at Walgreens they were like buy one get one or something but usually they're around eight to twelve dollars kind of in that range or whatever for each little piece. So um, the first one that I want to show you is the face bar that I use and it's the Shea Moisture Organic Coconut and Hibiscus Shea Butter Soap. So this is the packaging that is in. I don't know if you guys can see it that good, but this is the packaging and it's just like a bar, like a bar of soap. And I love it because one is organic and it has nothing but natural stuff in it. Two is Shea Moisture. And three, oh my gosh, it's a little regular bar and it lasts forever. Like I bought it like in January and I'm still using the same bar and it's still like really big or whatever. So it lasts forever. And I think the bar was probably maybe like two or three dollars. So it's really cheap. It's a great um, skincare for your face. I use it every day on my face. I mean, usually whenever I'm in the shower, I just lather up with it. And just put it on my face and wash my face that way. I'm not. I don't claim to have like perfect or great skin. I don't usually get blemishes that often. So, I mean, it works for my skin. So I absolutely love it, and it smells great too. Um, also, another good thing about it is like sometimes when you use face stuff, it tingles or it burns your eyes, or you can kind of feel it burning or whatever. It doesn't do any of that. Like if I guess if you have sensitive skin, it's probably great for your skin. Alright, so the line that I used was the um, green body line. So, you know, all the labels are the green one and it's the olive and green tea one. Um, and like I said, I bought this, like I've been using these for months or whatever. So the first one is the olive and green tea body wash with avocado. And so it looks pretty much you know like that or whatever and much like all shea moisture products you know it doesn't have none of the bad stuff um no parabens no gluten no mineral oil no sulfates no animal testing so it doesn't have the bad stuff in it but it has lots of good stuff so this one has stuff like olive oil uh, vitamin e green tea avocado vitamins a d and e um, so nothing but good ingredients and this one is also organic so I love that because you want to put good stuff not only in your body but on your body as well so this is the body wash and I use it all the time I feel that it lathers up good um, a lot of times my skin gets sensitive to a lot of soaps and stuff but I don't have a problem with this one because there are very few soaps and body washes that I can use but I don't find that I have a problem with this one this one doesn't irritate me at all um, what I really love about it is the smell. It's a really good smell. I think that's why I chose this um, green line. It smells kind of like green tea if green tea has a smell. <laughs> but it smells just very clean. And that's what I like about it. It's not very perfumey or overpowering. And you know sometimes products that smell kind of clean smell kind of dull or have a lack of a scent. But it just smells very clean and it's a very light scent. So I love that about this product. Um, the next one is the lotion and it's the body lotion and the body lotion you know has the same type of it has the you know same ingredients or whatever but it's a lotion um, I use this one all the time if you live in a climate that's very dry this is perfect because this stuff is so thick I don't know if I can show you but I don't know it's just very thick it's hard for me to get it to come out because it's so thick so if you live in a dry climate then you know it is perfect for you um, what I don't like about it though is that it's hard for it to come out of this right here. I always have to take it off and be ghetto and like, you know, how you have to heat it like a hundred times to get it to come out. But I mean, the good thing about that is that it's just very moisturizing. So just take the top off. They have one in, more, in the squeeze tube that I think I'll get next time so I don't have to keep taking the top off. But um, yeah, I would just get the squeeze tube one. But great product. It's very moisturizing. A little goes a long way. Like I've had this since January and I haven't even used half of it. Because you only need a little bit to put on each section of your body. And then the last one that I have is the um, hand and body scrub. So it's like this. Or more so like that. 
And let me see if I can open it for you so you can kind of see. I don't know if you guys can, you might not be able to see. It's kind of runny, so I don't want to like pull it up. Okay, so it's kind of like liquidy at the top, but it's, very, it's a very thick consistency of the scrub part of it. So um, that's the scrub, and then it has like the oils and stuff that have settled on the top. Just like the other products, it has the um, all the good stuff in it, you know, just like, you know, it has the green tea, olive oil, avocado, vitamin A, D, E. It have all that stuff in it too. But this one is a scrub. And I usually use this one maybe like once a week. And I'm telling you, every time I use it, like my skin definitely feels so soft. But I feel like I even sleep better at night because my, fin my skin just feels so soft and moisturized. Um, so I love using this. And especially like using it on like your hands and feet to get like the calluses and stuff is great great for softening especially softening your feet so i love it and they all have the same scent and smell it's just very crisp and clean um not perfumey at all so all in all guys i love the shea moisture um body line i love their hair products so i want to try these and i love these so i definitely would recommend them if you guys use these and you use the other color labels um let me know know how you like them or let me know which one i should try so anyway, I hope you guys like this review. Please comment below and I'll talk to you later. Bye.